Mmm, smells so good. Mmm. Meet the Peterson family. Our dad, the three Peterson brothers, and our families farm together in central Kansas. Our family farm started in 1882 and has been raising cattle and crops ever since. Please subscribe to this channel and give us a like and a comment if you enjoy the video. So just finished getting the last of the uh, third cutting off. There's also some leftover first cutting on that trailer. All right, it's Monday morning. Uh, I am feeding cattle here and um, it's gotten a lot cooler. A cool front came in last night and uh, just really kind of slept through it and lowered that temperature, brought in a little bit of humidity and we even got some, you know, droppings. I'm not even sure if it counts as a sprinkle. But we got some rain, you know, this morning. Uh, less than a tenth so far. But they're saying there's a better chance for tonight. So that's really good news. And there's no, in the five next five days, there's no days scheduled to be above 100. And today's only 88, which really does feel like a cold front for us. All right, it is. We are really going now. About 80 head done so far. Good morning everyone. I am uh, currently getting out the uh, last irrigation pump, our, th our third one, the last for this year. Um, we have double crop soybeans under our uh, big pond pivot and it's time to get some water on them. So way back in the back corner of this old uh, upright silo shed is where we keep this diesel pump. It doesn't look like much sitting in the back of this shed. Does a lot of work for a couple months every year. So we're gonna get her pulled out. Once we get down to the pond, we'll hook up all these. These are all the fuel lines and that suction line needs to go on the back. Our floats have kind of changed over the years because the styrofoam kind of deteriorates. That's what grandpa started with. Well, dad and grandpa. And uh, but then when we added this, when we changed it to this diesel engine, we needed some extra flotation. We added these kind of pontoon deals, floats, that uh, hold up a little better. And we put on these big wheels to have more clearance. They were cl some clamp-on duels that were just sitting around. So we put those on, and they add some flotation too, I think. I mean, they're heavier, but they also add a lot of buoyancy, so. Well, that didn't work. Gonna wash off this coupler here. So the rubber gaskets seal well. Because everything on the suction side of the pump, we want to seal up real good. Well, everything you want to seal up real good, but especially on the suction side, to be able to get uh, get it primed. Nothing like the old square nuts. I mean, you know it's old. Old faithful. All right, we got this pump out of the shed. Kind of pump out the big, big pond. We got steers grazing it right now. Dad's gonna wiggle it on in there. Nathan and Evan are up fixing some drops up there on the pivot part. And then there's the hole we dug earlier this year to fix the leak. Uh oh yeah, we gotta put on that pipe first. We already filled out with water. Okay, we brought over our extend pipe here um, so that we don't have to match exactly to a 30 foot interval. We can just first start with this one. And Dad's got the meter so we can measure the outflow and total water. Acre feet, is that what the unit is? Acre feet. So I was up there on the hill checking some gearboxes and fixing some uh, drop nozzles that had broke off in the wind, all that wind we had over the winter. And uh, so dad and Kendall uh, got the pump 
backed in. I think Kendall got some filming of it. Because that's what I was hoping to get for you guys was actually backing it in. And uh, now I'm going to see if I can get her started and get the line flushed. And then um, we'll put the cap on and probably let her go. If anyone remembers, my uh, arch nemesis, the stupid geese are back in a little corner of their field, their little personal soybean patch, eating all my soybeans. Come on. Okay, so the diesel engine, we were told there's a way to get suction off of it, but we haven't taken the time to plumb it up yet. So we're gonna use vacuum from my pickup uh, brakes, and we're gonna use that vacuum to prime the pump. We're gonna suck water up that pipe, uh, up the suction line, and then uh, engage the clutch, and hopefully pump some water. Priming it the first time is always See if you found any new leaks over the winter and stuff. Don't want to drop my boat! Okay, so... We'll open these valves. water up up here and uh, I can already feel that it's well filling up so now we watch for it in this sight glass I might have a leak somewhere I probably need to oh there it is Too good. We need a better gasket in there than that. We're just flushing the end for now, so I'll do all that again. So I gotta check. Here's where we spliced our pipe. This line, this was kind of going over a terrace and we think that's maybe why it broke. Dad also wishes he uh, would have used heavier pipe when he laid this back in the 80s or maybe it was 90s. But at that point they didn't really know. They were just kind of getting started with irrigation and didn't know how much they'd be pumping through here. Well, I don't see it coming out the end yet. But it's not leaking here yet. That's good. We can probably cover that up now. It's getting up here now. I don't see it coming out the end yet. Which I hope I'll be able to see from here. primed second time end cap is on let's water some beans so new for this year we've got uh, one meter and then two uh, this is our single phase power coming off the grid and we have two phase converters um, so one's making three phase electricity for that pivot that we've had running out there and then uh, this one is trenched out to the one I'm starting up right now. So this is the first time we've had them both running 
at the same time. Really isn't that much power coming through there. Uh, works a lot better than the generators we've we ran in the past. Watch that bunny scale up this with speed, and he couldn't quite get there. Okay, so I've been welding um, this afternoon. Here's a place that I'm touching up. Uh, on this one, the whole piece is gone. It is a pretty hot job uh, wearing the proper uh, long sleeve protection here and the helmet. Um, but it's a nice one to get done before it gets busy this fall. And I did most of it in the morning. I'm just finishing up this afternoon. Uh, so we don't want any holes for the cattle to get out in the feed lot. So there's just a few places after they rub on for months and years and whatever that um, just got to touch up occasionally. Also, this feed lot was built by uh, teenagers with little experience welding. Uh, both, all, Greg, all three of us, Greg, Nathan, and I would weld different pins up different summers. Uh-oh, my bee might be running out of gas. Oh. So the cool thing is the main two tractors we're using today are the 730. Okay, it's not running, but it's backed up a pump. We ran it yesterday afternoon, I think. Um, back, backing that uh, pump back lower and lower into the pond. And the B. Oh, I got zoomed in. Um, so the two older tractors are pulling the weight around here uh, today. So we got our generator, PTO driven. And of course, that uh, pump back there. And all, all the tractors that are decades newer are sitting around. So it's the old ones pulling the weight. Peterson Farm. So this is this is an old riser we don't use anymore. It was capped off, but the cap had a hole in it. Saw it leaking. So I gotta fix this. And then also I think my pump died. Also this big old coyote was down by this pond. Bye buddy. So first time firing things up, you sometimes have problems, but that's how you find them. All right, well everything seems to be up and running. I'll check her again later tonight. Got the nozzles unplugged and the leaks fixed, so not too bad. Look, look how much daylight I have left. I better watch out, I'll, I'll jinx myself into something else going on. There's a nice dew this morning from three mornings of kind of misting in a row. It's not gonna make the grass take off by any means, but it's enough to keep it growing. Moving the cows a paddock. In between doing chores this morning and uh, hauling off some heifers to town. So a lot of the heifers are actually these cows' daughters. So it's a lot of last year's fall calves going to market as yearlings. Some have more fly pressure and some have less. There's no calves on the ground yet, which is a good thing. They're not supposed to be quite there yet. Checking in on uh, the irrigation on this uh, double crop bean field. This is a full circle pivot. This uh, pivot's about 40 years old, still working like a charm. And you can see the double crop soybeans have poked up through the wheat stubble now and are starting to turn the field green. Uh, we've got the irrigation pump pumping out of our reservoir down here. Uh, the back side of the, the pond has already been emptied. We've already pumped all that out. And so it's just that right there left. And then of course you saw in the last video, um, Nathan uh, moved the irrigation pump, our second irrigation pump uh, to the other pond over the hill there. So we've got the lagoon pump dry. 
and then we're working on our last two ponds here. Should have enough water to, to keep us going for a while, but we need a rain. We are uh, working cattle today. These are some, some new ones that came in a couple days ago. And so we're running them through the chute, getting tags on them, giving them some shots. Blair, can you wave hi to the camera? Can you wave hi? Blair says hi. We're actually almost done. This is my my last group to put through the chute. You're the one who bought these cattle, right, Kennel? Yeah, I got 38 head yesterday. And so I mean, it's the farm's money, but you were the one who oh, yeah. I just sit raised your hand. Raise my hand and spend the farm's money. Wow, well, what a deal. Hopefully, I don't buy the wrong one. Hey. Finish the cattle. Nathan, what have you been working on? I had to replace an auger. Yeah, hopefully it's a little more sustainable and less leaky this time. Looks better too. those paintings Brighton thanks for watching everyone check out our music videos linked in the description you can also follow us on Facebook Instagram TikTok Twitter snapchat and explore our website www.petersonfarmbrothers.com see you guys next time